Carpenter folks, good morning, good afternoon to some, somewhere around there, somewhere around the world. It is uh, May 12th, 2021, about 9.15 a.m., and quite a bit of uptick uh, in earthquake activity around the globe lately uh, over the last 24 hours. Uh, latest quake is going to be a 5.3, just south of the Philippines area, uh, right around the, uh, looks like the Philippine Trench region. The latest information here on this map from the USGS uh, shows that 5.3, just south of the Philippines there along that trench that I mentioned. Uh, overnight, we had a, well not overnight, but earlier, about an hour and a half, what, almost two hours ago now, had a 6.7 earthquake uh, out here in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Uh, I got Mad Madagascar over here. Um, Pretty, pretty good size uh, earthquake for this region along the ridge section of the uh, Indian Ocean. 10 kilometers below surface for that earthquake. Um, USGS has this set, uh, let's see here real quick. Oh, definitely in that ridge area where there's been quite a bit of movement uh, over the past, uh, his, you know, as far as historical earthquake activity goes. Port Lewis down here. Um, we got a good distance, so considerable distance away from that epicenter of that 6.7, which is good. But definitely in a seismically hazard area. Uh, as you can see, lots and lots of earthquakes uh, taking place in that region uh, before. And it will continue to do so. Uh, also, can't ignore this one over here off the coast. Of, or uh, Yeah, it's kind of just off the coast. Zoom in here. Yeah, just off the coast of... Uh, the El Salvador region, Guatemala City sits up here, Guatemala, uh, in the Middle America Trench area, <clears throat> another subduction zone region uh, capable of producing some significant quakes. The deep, uh, the depth of this quake, these quakes, I should say, um, looks like about 51 kilometers and 46 for that 5.9. And it looks as though, <clears throat> looks as though there was um, that 5.6 was kind of like a foreshock, if you will, uh, a little bit deeper movement, uh, and then about what do we got? Like an hour, two and a half hours later, we see that uh, 5.9 kick in there, a little bit more shallower. So this may not be over. This may be. Uh, potentially building up to something a little bit more significant uh, for that region. As I said, they can see some uh, pretty good sized earthquakes. There's the uh, past historical chart, and, and that's, that's only since 1900 to 2015. Uh, but if you check out the, uh, the magnitudes, the size of the circles, um, you can see that uh, there's definitely been, been some sizable quakes in this region. Major, uh, definitely a major player when it comes to uh, producing some uh, sizable quakes. So keep an eye on that. Def definitely a lot of movement since uh, I did the update video last night. Uh, Going to be a pretty active day, I believe. Looks like a little earthquake up here in the uh, new Madrid fault system. Been kind of watching that area as well. I'll go ahead and drop this down to the all magnitudes just in case we uh, uh, see any swarming up there. I don't see any swarming, but there has been a couple uh, quakes. 3.0 near uh, Marston, Missouri. New Madrid fault sits over here. Looks like... Uh, 2.4 there uh, yesterday. I'm not for sure if I covered that or not. That's uh, still within that seismically hazard area of the New Madrid fault zone. That 3.0 striking right smack dab in that area uh, of the uh, New Madrid fault area. 8.6 kilometers for that earthquake uh, as far as the depth goes. Uh, so kind of watching that region pretty closely. Overall, folks, I think we're going to see a pretty active day. Oh, what, what do we got down here? Did they just include that one on there? Oh, 
Hold on one second here. Yeah, looks like they did. Looks like they had just uh, put that on the map there. I see it on the Earthquake 3D globe as well. Just added, even though uh, looks like it struck well almost uh, almost half an hour ago or so. So movement on the uptick. It's about 40 kilometers there, there along the Peru Chile trench area. And of course, some of that deeper movement. Well, this one's pretty shallow, that 5.3, but this one over here in uh, Chile, 4.412 kilometers. So, man, that's uh, it just it's pretty active, folks. Let me tell you, it's just looking at the map, we're looking at uh, some definite uh, heightened activity. Potentially, all thanks to that. Uh, Oh, when did, when did the first bigger one hit out there? I think it was, uh... <clears throat> I think it was this 5.9 5. Uh, that struck off El Salvador area. That's a pretty close to 6.0, so things like that can uh, definitely shake an, an, air, an area up. So we'll just see how it goes today, folks. Um, it's pretty, uh, it's really active so far for s first thing in the morning. Well, not really first thing, but uh, uh, early morning hours, pretty uh, pretty active. I guess it doesn't matter what time of the day. If it's going to go, it's going to go. Uh, West Coast region looking, uh, yeah, we had that earthquake last night. Kind of talked about that one off the uh, coast of Oregon, past the Blanco fracture zone. Uh, I don't really see any more further movement uh, that's new. I'll cover that a little bit later on, folks, in the uh, update video. Uh, later this afternoon, this evening, depending on uh, when I get to it. But uh, for now, 5.6 South America region. Seismically active globe today, that is for sure. Stay safe out there, everyone. We will chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.